I want to thank you so much for the support and the positive feedback that I have been getting um, from you guys. I also want to thank you for the criticism as well that I have gotten, which helps me grow and, you know, put out be better content for you. Yes, so I need help with my sleeping pattern. Last night I slept so late. So I still woke up early, but I had to go back to bed because I had trouble staying awake. But I have woken up so energetic. Of course, I took my breakfast before I went back to sleep. But I have woken up so energized, so energetic. Yesterday, yesterday I got this. Three of this. Yes. Of course, I had I had pans, but not bread baking ones. So I needed this to like hold bread into that shape. So I will be attempting to bake bread with you today so come with me get ready for that uh, let's see how i make the bread <laughs> hi it's the next day after the first after the day i mixed the um, the flour, sugar, and and yeast, and of course a bit of water. So, oh, just hold on a second. I have a bad allergy, either to dust, cold. I'm not sure, but we move, we move, we move. I find it very disgusting that I keep blowing my nose. Oh my goodness! Hang in there. Let me blow my nose. Ooh, I am honestly sure not what like I'm not sure what my sinuses are reacting to. Oh, it's really exhausting. Anyway, back to the bread baking, right? So yesterday uh, I mixed the dough, flour, yeast, and a bit of water, and I read on some recipe that it said I should wait uh, for. I should wait for 13 hours. I guess right now it's more than 13 hours since I first made this mixture. So I will attempt to make the dough and see how it comes out. And then we will proceed. So we'll, I will proceed to make the bread and I will bring you along. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's a new week. Enjoy this video. I hope. You're working on your goals every single day and just making sure your yesterday is better than the, the new day. Sorry, what am I saying? Like, hoping your current day is better than the previous day. Man, this is how I be in the morning. I don't got my thoughts outlined well because I have too much on my mind. But we move, right? We move. Plus, I think it's also a struggle for a new content creator. It's hard. Not it's hard. But it, it takes time to get your thoughts flowing in a way that... Yeah, flowing. Flowing. So that you're not rumbling here and there. But you're going to have to bear with me. You're going to have to bear with me. So let me wash my hands. And get into bread baking. Oh, I'm also warming my tea so that I can have breakfast. Ow! That hurts. Yeah, so I don't know what to do first. Have breakfast or, or finish with the dough. Let me show you what it looks like.
this is after all the bubbles I just tied it together because it wasn't a thick mixture and then I'm gonna pour flour here and make a dough I am using uh, all purpose flour please do not use any other flour I find it easy to stock up on all-purpose flour because because you, you can make whatever you want with it you can make things that want yeast you can make you can add baking powder yourself instead of buying the one with uh, the self rising one and then each time you need to bake something that goes with yeast you have to go to you have to go to the shop to the store right so i'm mixing up the dough again i need a camera older because what ghetto is this honestly what ghetto is this they say don't make the dough don't make the dough too hard so i am gonna be making this dough let me show you the pointer mat this is a pointer mat so i'm gonna be mixing and kneading for about for about 140 times 140 should be okay So let me put the camera down and keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it gets too soft, like in my case, I'm just going to put just like a like a teaspoon of flour just to make my kneading a bit easier The reason you put in very little flour is of course because you can add but you can take away and you don't want to have to start from scratch with the fluids and all that. You see what I've ended up with? very nice uh, dough ball sometimes I, I struggle making the very perfect uh, dough ball like shaping it into a ball but it doesn't have to always be perfect there you go. I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and then I'll put it in the in the tins. I'll divide it and put it in the tins. And this time around I'll measure the dough just to know so that I can know how many grams of dough went in, into each tin. Right? So let's let this rest for 20 minutes. This is what my dough looks like. So I'm going to let it rest. I am also going to take time and grease these pans. And also, yeah, grease them and get them ready. I think looks like they start in there. I'll wash them and then grease them and get them ready for baking.
three tins so i am trying to divide the dough into three parts so let's measure the first part this is around 332 grams put that aside measure the second part 376 that's a bit bigger put that aside measure the third one this should be way bigger that's 400 and so we're going to reduce from each into the smallest one until they are proportional so I already have the three parts and each of them are about 370, 373 in the margin of 370 and 375. So next step. The next step will be stretching this out a bit. Stretch it out a bit, stretch it, stretch it. And then roll. And then roll, roll it, roll it, roll it. And once you roll it on each other, you put it in the pan with the seam line at the bottom. So you see that and that's what we're about to do that's one and that's what we're about to do with the other one you stretch it stretch stretch it out as much as you can just with your hand don't use a rolling pin yes because you don't want to mess up with those gluten strands you stretch it stretch it and then roll so off the camera I'll do that for this one and the next one and then I'll let them rise so these are my three bread pieces of bread well rolled and placed in a greased pan so the next step is I'll put them in the oven yes and let them rise yes so let's do that. I forgot to bring you along when I was putting this in the oven. So these are the three loaves and these are the two that I have already removed. See, when you grease your, your pan very well, it doesn't leave anything, yes? And then these are the two. So I'll let me remove this one. They're kind of hard to remove because of this, this corner here, which I don't mind to lose. So, is it still hot? Oh, it's a bit hot. It's a, this is a corner that makes it hard for me to remove it. The pan is still a bit hot. So, let me do this. See? After that corner, by the way. Look! This is where the bread was. Yes? And now we're gonna attempt to cut one just to see how it is on the inside okay this is what i'm using to cut so cut 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 i didn't even wait for the bread to cool down but as you can see oh my goodness Amalios, i advise you to wait for your bread to to, to cool see the bread this is even without cooling. So I'm going to let the other two cool and then we can eat them. We can, we can, I'll cut them open. Yes. So let your bread cool. <clears throat> Guys, ignore this filter and ignore my rusty face. I went swimming today and I forgot to put on, um, sunscreen. Okay. So, I'm just here to rant, man. Like, the ghetto that is KPLC, 
we've been having an over what is it called overload oh over voltage yes thank you we've been having having over voltage since friday today is tuesday and of course like our fridge doesn't work and uh what else i was afraid to use the oven i thought they'd fix it before uh, i can bake the bread but that didn't happen so i ended up waiting too long to bake my bread so it didn't come out the way i wanted to of course because it said it overstayed you know just rising right anyway that said um i baked it either way like i literally risked my oven huh so i can make this bread because i didn't want the ingredients okay not like there's any ingredients that were special in there but i didn't want my hard work to that point like to just go to waste so i risked my oven thank god like my oven is still okay like nothing happened to it but i i made the bread of course and <laughs> man says the bread tastes like his bread in high school i'm not taking that as a compliment so that is what? not my best literally like i don't i don't like the I taste high school i'm sorry you were in high school you're probably hungry <laughs> guys allow me to digress right in high school even lemons tasted nice I'm, I'm i'm honestly sorry like i i can't take your judgment for what tasted nice in high school i'm serious i'm not taking that so as a compliment I did, it is out of high school i went back and I, i'm sorry anything i liked in high school i don't like right now so my bread either way came out in mm, like looking nice it it like <laughs> he's mad but my bread came out looking like really good i love how it looked i love i love how like it has those bubbles on the inside i love it but i i still feel like i need to work on the taste up to a taste that i enjoy rather i like and really mm -hmm. love and then yeah so i'll be practicing on making bread many more times ignore this internet as i was saying ignore this internet and how people tell you that or try to show you that you get some things right at the first trial sometimes it's not like that sometimes it requires a first trial and a second one before you perfect on something and i am willing to learn so i will be trying to make the bread once again but other than that for for a first okay for a first time purely making bread because the other times i only make bread from the leftovers i get from my pizza dough but i want to make like bread not from a pizza dough bread i don't know like bread yes so yeah i'll be practicing some more so yeah that's 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 about it i lost my train of thought that's about it this is me closing the video because i didn't have like a decent way to close it i i hadn't closed it prior and yeah this is me wishing you all the best love peace um i have been procrastinating on making one video that is very sensitive to me but i will gather my confidence and make that and i hope you will enjoy it so stay tuned for the same and i wish you all the best try out something that you've been wanting to try that you're you're you've been maybe second guessing yourself sometimes it's okay to fail right and then you get get the strength to try out again and then one of these days you're gonna succeed and once you succeed you're not going back trust me so ah, take care stay safe